The applicant known as SDCV had a visa entitling them to be in Australia. That visa was then cancelled by the Immigration Minister on the grounds of bad character. That decision in turn was made on information supplied to the Minister by what was called an ASA, or an Adverse Security Assessment. Because the decision was based on material which the Australian Secret Intelligence Organisation, ASIO, said was secret, SDCV was not even allowed to know what information ASIO was referring to. He wasn't allowed to respond to it to say if it was true or false. He was simply to accept that his visa was cancelled. Justice Edelman summed it up this way. Could it ever be procedurally fair for a court to decide that a person was lawfully stripped of their permanent right to remain in Australia for reasons which the person will never be given, based on specific allegations about which the person will never be told, involving evidence which the person will never see and never be able to address, and without hearing from any counsel to represent the person's interests? No. Justice Edelman did accept that under some circumstances, procedural fairness may be qualified. For instance, one example that he used was that in native title cases, Indigenous knowledge which is restricted to men or to women might only be released to those of the appropriate gender. But in this case, neither SDCV nor anyone on their side, anyone at all, was allowed to see the material. Justice Edelman turned to the jurisprudence of John Rawls. He said, As Rawls wrote, By the principle of fairness, it is not possible to be bound to unjust institutions, or at least to institutions which exceed the limits of tolerable injustice so far undefined. There will be instances of procedural unfairness where the injustice is tolerable and the institutional integrity of the court is not substantially impaired because the procedural fairness is justified by a compelling countervailing interest and that injustice is the minimum that is reasonably necessary to protect that interest. In this case, he found that the court was being asked to give up so much procedural fairness that it was no longer really a court at all. Unfortunately, he was in the minority. The decision was upheld and SDCV's visa was cancelled. SDCV still likely does not know why. Mm -hmm.